Hey Morales, uh, Skyboat here with Ray, who's the manager of the BCS Coaches Trophy. How, how long have you been uh, doing this job here, Ray? I've been doing it for 10 years. I'm taking this trophy. It goes on a nationwide tour for other years, so it's been a lot of traffic. Right, um, how, how much exactly is this uh, trophy to crystal ball? It's a $30,000 waterfront water crystal trophy. trophy. It takes three months to hand carve in Waterford, Ireland. And uh, the whole trophy weighs about 45 pounds. The ball is and uh, let me ask you, what, once the BCS is done, what, what's going to end up happening to these, uh, these, this trophy? Well, what, first of all, what's unique about this trophy is there are no replicas. So this is the actual ball game that we present on the field. And once the team receives it, they get it and they can display it on campus permanently. We'll make a new one next year. Now, if anybody were to, uh, to break the ball, what, what, what is your guys' policy with that? Well, well, the good news is over the 15 years that we've been handling it, I've never had a break on my watch. But it is insured, and when the school receives it, they actually insure it. And there have been a couple schools that have run into incidents where the ball has broken. But they've had it insured, and they can just get a note new one. It just takes a couple months for them to get it, since that's done in the color. Okay, okay. I, I heard you talking here for a bit. You said that you guys already have uh, the name plate worked out for no matter who's the winner. Uh, how, how crazy is that, that moment when you guys have to get the name plate out there and get the uh, trophy out to the field for the presentation? Well, it all depends on the game. I mean, you know, there have been a couple games, like the overtime game with Ohio State and uh, Miami back in 02 where it was an overtime game. Uh, Auburn in Oregon just a couple years ago where it's the last second field goal. So literally you're, you're putting it on as the final horn is sounding, so to speak. So uh, it can be a little hairy, but we've done it. I've done it for 15 years, so you can get it on pretty quick. Well, well, you've been doing this for 15 years. Uh, what will you be doing next year now that, that this trophy may, may be retired? Well, I'll, we'll be with a new trophy. So a new trophy will be uh, introduced probably around April, and uh, we look forward to, to taking that one around the country and kind of building the kind of recognition that the Crystal has, has received uh, over the past 15 years. Are, are there any uh, renderings or ideas of what the new trophy may look like? We haven't seen any yet, no. So uh, I think I think you're going to wait till April to unveil it, but there hasn't been anything uh, leaked in terms of the design. So, so it's going to be a surprise for all of us, including the users. So. Well, thank you very much, Ray. We appreciate your time. Thank you. For more news on the BCS National Championship, visit theskyboat.com.